Hey guys, it's Mr. Crowlaz again. Just uh, to give you a heads up, uh, the Project Ni uh, the 1964 Nintendo 64 game. It's uh, emulator. It's, it's got a few bugs in it. I won't advise using it now, but uh, I have found my original favourite one on the same site. It is the Project 64 1.7.050 B23. Now you do the same basic work. Uh, and you save it to wherever folder you want. I've made a quick folder on the desktop. Downloaded it, took a matter of minutes. Now what you need to do is scan it first. You always scan it. Always scan. Make sure it's done. Okay? Then you need to extract all. It'll ask you to where you extract. It's normally the same folders wherever you've made it or put it. So you extract it. It's going to uh, take a few seconds. Once it's done, double click the folder it's extracted. Start up the installation process. English, next, I agree, next, next, um, you can have a desktop icon or not, I'm going to have one because I like them, it makes it easier to find things, install, it takes a matter of minutes, it's really really quick, this one I know is sound, it's absolutely sound, I've never had any problems with this, alright, it's all finished, now it's done, I just need to close down this window, get rid of that, there's the N64. Just reopen it. It's going to uh, bring up a page like this. Click it, OK. Big white page. Now it's going to want you to do the exact same as you did last time. File, open ROM. We're going to be desktop. Got me Net Nintendo 64 games. Now, I've downloaded a few since the last video. Uh, I'm going to go on Kirby. It's an old classic. Runs it nice and smooth. Now, in the system, you've got all the things you need. I'm going to quickly pause this. Right, you can configure your controller plugin. Now, the controller plugin is pretty good because it shows you exactly what controllers you need to move, do what you want, and uh, yeah, it shows you a layout of exactly where it is. If you've got an actual controller, such as an Xbox 360 controller, you may be able to mod it. I haven't tried that yet because when I originally had this, I didn't have a um, 360 controller that was wired. As long as it's wired, it should work. It's a USB port. It, 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 it works most of the time. I used it on other games. Now, once you've done that, you can figure it. I mean, it's just uh, simple basic controls. Allows you to uh, move around and that. Just gonna quickly show you a uh, few seconds of it going. Just sort of uh, skip through this. Uh, it's going a little bit. There's not really much going on here. And uh, see, it's uh, all working. And there we have it. The game is running. Now, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, sorry about the cock up as last time, but um, it's easy enough to get hold of and I really do apologize thank you for watching goodbye